it's okay to make mistakes. But when you see a blunder in a newspaper, an ad copy, or a product, you really start thinking, man, who approved it? How did this mistake make it to the store shelves? Or maybe city structures? From buildings that defy gravity to products that leave you scratching your head in confusion, we're diving into a treasure trove of unintentional comedy. So grab your popcorn and prepare to <laughs> laugh till your sides hurt as we explore some of the world's funniest design fails. Remember, it's all in good fun, and even the best designers have their off days. Let's jump right in. Number one, an ice hockey stadium freshly built with shiny glass panels all around. Sounds fancy, right? But here's a catch. The designers didn't quite think it through. With the bright white ice as a backdrop, these glass panels turn into invisible barriers. Yikes! Imagine trying to leave the back area and rushing towards the arena, only to meet an unexpected glassy greeting. Bonk! Your face bangs into the invisible wall. It's like a scene from a cartoon, except that it's real life. The only thing missing is that large red bump that you can press, and it gets funnier. These glass panels aren't just a one-time obstacle. Oh no, they are wide, really wide. So people keep bumping into them, not once, not twice, but multiple times, turning around in confusion before they finally find an actual exit. As long as the glass doesn't break and hurts someone really bad, it's quite funny to watch. Number two, in a perplexing mix-up, a Cosmopolitan magazine cover features the month Decembury, a baffling blend of December and January. This typo turns a simple date into a puzzling paradox, leaving readers wondering if they've stumbled upon a new month in the calendar. To be honest, I kind of like the sound of December. We should add that as a month. Number three. This card, intended to celebrate the birth of a July baby, reads, Congratulations, you have cancer. An astrological accident that turns a heartfelt greeting into a death wish. I'd say it's a comical mix-up between star signs and health, proving that context is everything, especially in greeting cards. Number four. In a bizarre twist of fashion, there exists a pair of men's boxes with not two, but three leg openings. I wonder if they designed it for some extraordinary creature. Because all the men I've seen are actually two-legged. Who's the third leg for? Is it a spare? Number five. A strawberry-scented Minion shampoo goes wrong with red tears streaming from the bottle. Instead of a cute, fruity shower experience, it's more like a scene from a cartoon horror show. This design fail can easily turn bath time into a slightly unsettling event. This just shows that even the most innocent intentions can lead to hilariously eerie results. Number six, in a store, there's this chocolate box that proudly announces it's new, or at least it tries to. Thanks to an unfortunately placed price tag, what's supposed to be an enticing new now reads as EW. Imagine walking down the aisle, excited for some sweet treats, and then you're greeted by a box that seems just as disgusted as you'd be if you found broccoli in your candy bag. Number seven, on a ship, safety should be the priority, right? Well, someone didn't think the sign through. Intended to say, no smoking safety first, this design flaw turned it into no safety smoking first. Talk about mixed messages. Isn't it like being on a diet and seeing a sign that says, eat cake, exercise, never mind. This sign not only confuses the passengers, but also gives a chuckle to those who understand the irony. Number eight. Imagine you're in a waiting area and there it is, a random toilet seat, complete with toilet paper. It's as if someone thought, why make people go to the bathroom when we can bring the bathroom to the people? The kind of convenience nobody asked for. I mean, I wouldn't want to be a part of someone's bathroom break. It's a real seat of discomfort for everyone involved. Number nine, yoga is all about positivity, right? But this yoga mat missed the memo. Originally meant to say nothing is impossible. The wrong color choices transformed it into nothing is possible. It's the perfect mat for those days when you're trying to do a downward dog, but feel more like a defeated sloth. This mat might not motivate you to reach new heights, but it sure will give you a good laugh. Number 10, someone tried to paint a picture of animals boarding Noah's Ark but there's a funny mistake. There are two male lions. It's like saying, let's repopulate the earth, but first let's figure out biology. 
This artistic blunder is quite a fail. Two male lions? I bet Noah never did that. Number 11. In a curious case of overkill, there's a mask for sale designed for Spider-Man, who last time anyone checked already wears a full face mask. It's like selling sunglasses to a character who never takes off their shades. This design is a hilarious example of gilding the lily, or in this case, masking the already masked. Number 12. Here's an ad for a pregnancy test featuring a woman who's clearly already pregnant. Are they checking their next pregnancy or what? Because the test is more like, in case you didn't notice, just a reminder. Once you have that kind of bump, it's already pretty obvious that you're pregnant, so no need to use a test. Why waste the money, right? Number 13. Boy, this magazine did the unimaginable. The placement of these pages is just hilarious. It looks like the girl on one page is having a nice toilet moment. It's the epitome of a crappy design, literally. While it might not be the most flattering portrayal, it certainly adds a new layer to the term magazine spread. Number 14. A pencil meant to discourage drug use starts with too cool to do drugs. But as you sharpen it, it shortens to just drugs. Talk about a message getting lost in translation. But, you know, isn't life like that? As you go on, the need to numb the mind becomes pretty obvious. Just kidding, or not. Never mind, you'll don't do drugs, and maybe not sharpen this pencil too much either. Number 15. Boy, oh boy, this design fail has to be the best one so far. This old lady probably had no idea what would happen to her picture. I mean, the handles are in the wrong place, right? This awkward design might even make the people who open those doors uncomfortable. Whoever did that probably had some beef with this lady. Maybe don't use handles like that again. Number 16. Imagine installing a door lock in a school door for an added layer of security. You put the key in and turn it to lock the door. Nice. The knob is unable to rotate now. The door can't be opened, right? Have you tried pulling it? Oops, the door just opened. I bet the designer ignored the fact that both the doors were not going together properly, hence giving everyone the free keyless access. Number 17. The Westminster Bridge design has a unique feature. When the sun shines, the shadows form what appear to be penises. It's an architectural oversight that turns a historic landmark into a comedy sketch. I wonder how they missed this and haven't bothered fixing it till now. Even the minor details matter a lot when light is shed on them. Maybe they should name this site as the Pennessy Bridge. Number 18. There's a thin line between art and disaster, and this sign is an example of just that. It definitely meant to say fashion art. But well, it seems like the designer didn't take a second look at that because it reads fashion fart, or because of an oversized F. I guess farts are getting fashionable too nowadays. One may even call it a fancy, no, a farty design. Number 19. A toy that features Spider-Man sitting on a quad bike takes a turn for the awkward when detached. The plastic hanging between his legs resembles something quite inappropriate. It's like making a superhero action figure that doubles as a biology lesson. This toy might be aiming for action-packed but it lands in awkwardly anatomical. Sometimes even superheroes can't escape design disasters. Number 20. In an amusing oversight, a newspaper article includes the phrase, click here to compare them, a relic from its online origins. They probably forgot that paper newspapers haven't yet evolved enough to offer such features. Or maybe it is a new feature we haven't figured out how to use yet. Number 21. This shirt reminded me of my overthinker friend. Even though they try to support you, they always end up making you worry more about an otherwise normal situation. This shirt is actually meant to encourage, but uh, doesn't it say, don't be happy, worry? Fine. If you say so, shirt, I'll cancel my plans to be happy today. Number 22. This public toilet is out of my nightmares. It may look normal at first glance, but what if I tell you that the water in the taps and the hand dryer are somehow connected. You don't believe it? I didn't believe it either. How are they even connected? Well, you have to see it to believe it. You turn on the hot tap water, you turn on the hand dryer, and boom, there you have it. Splash of hot water all over you. At least they were kind enough to put up a sign with details of what was going to happen. I would hate to be the first person who discovered this masterful design choice. Number 23, in a baffling design disaster, this website requires users to select each digit of their phone number from a drop-down menu instead of just typing it. I'd rather write a whole essay 
than do this kind of entry. Imagine the anxiety it can cause. This design decision turns a simple task into a digital drop-down drama. It just shows how in trying to be innovative, we end up complicating the simple things in life, one drop-down at a time. Number 24, I simply can't wrap my head around this one. This sign with a serious safety message went hilariously wrong. Instead of reading, don't die, it says, don't die safely. And if you just read the colors, it says, do die. You really have to focus to get the right message. It's a brain teaser, leaving passers-by wondering if there's a hidden message or if it's just a comical typo. Number 25. In Iran, there's a lamppost that stands proudly right in the middle of a road. This lamppost isn't just a light source, it's an obstacle course for drivers, turning a simple commute into a game of dodge the post. Imagine driving on this road at night and not knowing that a whole lamppost will be standing there right in the middle of the road. No warning signs, no nothing. Anyone could crash their car in it. I am wondering how it is still not broken down. It's not only hilarious, but also pretty dangerous. Number 26. Frank Gehry designed this building for Disney. And to add a bit of flair, this abomination was lined with stainless steel sheets to give it a shiny look in the night. The problem? Well, the building is extremely reflective. So during the daytime, it just blinds you if you make the mistake of looking at it directly. The best part? The building is right next to a road. So good luck not getting blinded if you are driving by. This was such a huge design fail that Disney had to have all the shiny stainless steel sheets sanded down so they were not as reflective. Maybe think about this kind of stuff before going through with the building process. Number 27. Two boards meant to advertise a sale end up too close together, hilariously reading Sasa Lele. This sign slip up is more like a tongue twister that could turn a shopping incentive into a playful puzzle. I guess the bottom text makes it a bit clearer, but still, who thought this was right to put up? Number 28. This park really embossed up when designing this slide. They really wanted to have a slide go through an elephant, only they did not think out the configuration really well. Now it just looks like the elephant is pooping out the kids. This design fail really tickles my funny bone because they could have literally made the slide the other way around and it would have been fine. Number 29. In a well-meaning but misguided attempt at inclusivity, there's Braille printed on paper. Yeah, it's just a print. So I wonder how blind people are supposed to feel the Braille with their fingers. This design oversight overlooks the very essence of Braille, which is to be tactile, not visual. That's a warm welcome, I believe. Number 30. This sign for a cafe takes an unfortunate turn appearing to read something rather racist due to a design flaw. From what I can tell, it is meant to say Rizza. I mean, it could be because the cafe is in Germany and the designer didn't really think that this innocent design would cause the cafe's name to turn into a slur in a foreign country. Still, it would be a real shock to any tourist from America, that's for sure. Number 31. There's a bike lane that's missing a crucial element, the grill on the side, to prevent accidents. Instead, the grill is on the wrong side, serving no purpose. This is either a foolish oversight, or the designer really hates cyclists. Number 32. Hilariously, this ATM used the wrong text for the enter and cancel buttons. Now the enter button is marked cancel. This confusing misprint must have been a pain for anyone using this ATM. Users might have approached the ATM ready to withdraw cash, but left wondering if they accidentally cancelled the whole thing. Number 33. In a bright idea gone dark, there's this solar-powered parking meter located in an underground garage. More like installing a sunroof in a basement. I mean, what's the use of a solar panel when there's no solar energy reaching it? This design fail is a classic case of not considering the environment, turning a high-tech solution into a not-so-bright ornament. This one's a reminder that even the best technology needs the right context to shine. Number 34. This couple found this hilarious design flaw in their hotel room. The bathroom looks normal at first glance, just your average hotel room. That is, until you find the window. You see, the bathroom has a shutter window that, when opened, slowly reveals the toilet seat to the entire room. 
The reveal is so slow, it's almost dramatic. Imagine just sitting on the toilet and suddenly the whole room can see you. This is such a dumb feature to add to a room and I love it. Number 35. This one's a horrifying one. On the road, the signs children playing and hunting area are placed alarmingly close to each other. Is something sinister going on here? This unsettling juxtaposition turned this standard road warning into a darkly humorous, if not slightly concerning message. Number 36. This inflatable flamingo was meant to float gracefully on water, but it failed to live up to its buoyant promise. It can't even stay afloat. How's one meant to keep a drink on it? Guess the idea of having a drink while bathing isn't a good one. This playful pool accessory is quite a humorous letdown, reminding us that sometimes even the most charming of inflatables can leave us high and dry, or in this case, wet and sinking. Number 37. This bridge in Venice, Italy, was designed by Santiago Calatrava. He designs it to have a see-through sleep look with glass panels on the floor. But what he forgot was that it rains a lot in Venice and that glass becomes slippery when wet. So for most of the year, this bridge becomes a slipping hazard. Venetians have to risk a bad fall each time they pass through it. Now, that could lead to serious injury. Still, it is funny thinking that such a famous architect forgot such a simple thing. In the end, the bridge had to be covered in stone panels to make it a bit less dangerous. Number 38. An image that's supposed to convey the comforting message, you are not alone, falls short when not becomes invisible. I guess they should have picked the color palette a bit more carefully. This design fail turns a supportive statement into an unintended solitary sentiment. No, scratch that. This just reads as an insult to lonely people. Number 39. A tissue box featuring Spider-Man has an unfortunate design where it appears tissues are being dispensed from his buttocks. Of all the Spider-Man images, they decided to use this one. I am not complaining, though. This looks hilarious. Spider-Man now has a new ability. Number 40. This bathroom setup is for the closest friends only, with three toilet seats and two urinals all crammed together in a haphazard orchestra of porcelain and plumbing, you can have a chat with your bathroom buddies as you all take a dump. All you need is a table, and everyone can play Dungeons and Dragons while emptying their bowels. Number 41. Another t-shirt design goes awry, with super hitters being misread as super shitters. I wonder how you unlock that achievement. It's a typographical trip-up that turns a cool phrase into a bathroom joke. This t-shirt is not just a fashion statement, it's a hilarious reminder of the importance of font choice and spacing in design. Number 42. Imagine going to the bathroom and realizing you're part of a live show. Thanks to a reflective surface placed just above the toilets, everyone can see everyone. It's like a reality show nobody signed up for. Next time, Maybe a simple mirror on the wall will do, instead of turning the bathroom into a hall of mirrors. Number 43. Creating a statue for your favorite celebrity can be one of the most respectful things you can do for them. Like many other artists in the world of the arts, Emmanuel Santos Portugal wanted to create a name for himself by creating a bronze sculpture of Cristiano Ronaldo, which was to be placed at the Madeira airport. The launch day came, and the expectations were high. The statue was revealed and instantly caught everyone's attention, but not because of how perfectly it was made. It looked nothing like Cristiano Ronaldo. It portrayed a ghoulish image of the famous sports star, but with a goofy grin. Fortunately, the online backlash did work. Phew. He was asked to remove the sculpture and give it one more go. This was Emmanuel's time to prove that he was the Cristiano of the art world. Amidst all the hype, the artist successfully unveiled his new creation at Portuguese airport. Yes, it was way better, only it still barely looked like Ronaldo. I personally preferred the previous version with that goofy smile. Number 44. A basketball advertisement meant to convey excitement reads like non-action and stop excitement due to a text layout mishap. A message going terribly wrong is what describes this poster. Number 45. A shirt intended to celebrate Salt Lake, Utah gets an awkward twist. As you can see, the misplaced abbreviations make up a word I'm not sure if I can say on YouTube. 
who even thought of this abbreviation. We need to have a talk. This wardrobe mishap could really make a joke out of anyone. This literally turned a geographic homage into a risque statement, proving that abbreviations need a second look, especially when they're emblazoned on clothing. Number 46. This die-cast bike apparently came with a stand. That's awesome, isn't it? You instantly think of placing it on your study table, but when you actually try to make the bike stand on it, BOOM! The bike goes down the table. How do you even ship a toy? when it has such a huge design flaw. Number 47. This one might sound a little racist, but trust me, it wasn't meant to look like that. This book titled Kids Are Weird got an unexpected twist when placed next to the author's last name, Brown, turning into Brown Kids Are Weird. I guess even book designs fall prey to these obvious design mistakes. Well, folks, that does it for this video. If you have any hilarious design fail stories to share, I would love to read them in the comments down below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this. Until the next video, see ya!